Today, I am going to be showing you what is inside. Give me one sec. Gotta use my muscles. My beach bag. I don't know about you guys, but when I go to the beach or the pool, I basically go out with the intention of making a nest. My spot on the sand or next to the pool is like my home away from home for the entire day because when I go out, I'm spending the entire day out and I'm making a nest. I guess in a way that means these are my nest essentials. I don't know, but I'm gonna roll with it. This see-through pink and orange huge bag is from Victoria's Secret. I found it in their pink section and I just thought it was super cute for summer and I love how it's see-through. The first thing I have is this little case that I got from Target, I think last year, it was a while ago, but I love this thing because I can fit my phone inside, my cards, my cash. I feel like I get the most reading done on beach and pool days, so I have to bring a book. And I'm currently reading Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I think this is an awesome book and I'm not even through the first chapter, so I would definitely recommend this. I also have a little beauty bag filled with some of my essentials. These are great things that I love using if I'm going to be spending the day outside in the sun. My little bag is from Kiana. I think it's super cute and it kind of matches my beach bag because it's pink and then the zipper is orange. Inside, facial sunscreen and this is sweat proof and water resistant. It's the Neutrogena Sport Face Oil Free lotion and it's SPF 70. This stuff provides really great protection especially if you're going to be outside in the water and sweating. You do have to reapply it throughout the day but I feel like it just lasts longer and it does an incredible job and it doesn't break me out. I don't have any kind of reaction to it. I have this little bottle of Evian facial spray and I actually got this from the hotel that I stayed at when I was in Mexico but they gave this to people who were hanging out by the pool or the beach and it's just really refreshing to spray this on when you're feeling hot. Sunglasses, of course, these are the ones that I bring to the pool or the beach. I got them at Forever 21 for like less than five dollars and I think they're really fun and colorful for summertime. And I don't have to worry about losing them because they're not like fancy sunglasses or anything. I have a couple hair ties because you never know what's gonna happen to your hair, especially when you're outside. And I always like to bring a couple extras just in case my friends need some because I know how it is when you need a hair tie and you don't have one. It's like the world is about to end. I also have this lip balm from Neutrogena. This is the lip moisturizer with SPF 15 and it actually came with the face sunscreen that I have. So I just have this in my bag because it has SPF in it and it is not fun when you forget to put SPF on your lips. When your lips get burned, it is probably one of the worst places that you could get burned aside from private areas, which I hope I never experience because that sounds terrible. And then I have some hand sanitizer. This is actually a spray sanitizer, so I'm gonna spray this at you guys. Look, you're all clean now because you're nice and sanitized. This is a lavender hand sanitizer that I got from Whole Foods. I think the brand is EO, but it says it moisturizes, sanitizes, and it's organic. I've been using this spray instead of gels because I found that they're just easier. You don't have to worry about getting a gel everywhere. They dry really fast. I like bringing a texturizing spray for my hair, and this is the Garnier Fructis Beach Chic Spray. It's a new product I believe because it says a new right here but I really like this stuff so far it smells amazing and it gives you that nice beachy texture so when I'm at the beach I just spray this in my hair at the end of the day to kind of make things look a little bit nicer if I'm going somewhere afterwards so my hair isn't like <sighs> and smelling, you know, like the ocean and stuff. It just makes you feel fresher. It helps control your hair a little bit. I also like to bring some body spray because again, you know, when you've been laying out all day and you don't have time to shower, sometimes you gotta cover it all up with some nice body spray. And this is the Pink Pretty and Pure Body Mist. I think it smells really good. I just started using it, but it smells awesome. Again, that's something your friends are gonna love you for if you bring it and they don't have it. If you can't tell, I'm kind of like the mom of the group that brings everything. And then of course, I need some sunscreen for my body and I like using a spray after I've applied a lotion onto my body before going out. So I will normally put on 50 or 70 onto my body in like the lotion consistency. This is great for touch-ups because it's really fast, it's cooling, it feels really good 
good and it does an awesome job at protecting your skin. I've used this a lot. I've gone through like three bottles of this stuff already and I haven't been burned at all since using it. I should probably tell you what this is. It is the Banana Boat Sport Performance Cool Zone sunscreen with SPF 30. I also like to bring some wet wipes because you never know what you're gonna be running into and sometimes it just feels good to wipe down your hands. It feels better than just that little spray if, you know, something gets on your hands and you just want to wipe them off. I just have these wet ones and they are antibacterial and it says it cleans better than hand sanitizers, so there you go. It's always fun to listen to music when you're spending the day outside, so I have this Jawbone Jambox Mini. I think that's what it's called, and don't tell my boyfriend because I stole this from him, but shh. This thing is awesome though because it syncs with your phone and you can play music, and these speakers are really, really good. Like, they sound like legit speakers, so you probably, you know, want to keep it down a little bit so you don't disturb other people around you. Now we're getting into the good stuff, the snacky snacks. And yes, I do have an entire bag of these things because they are freaking addicting, and if you eat one, you will understand why I have this bag. These are the Simply Balanced Organic Baked Corn Puffs with White Cheddar and these are like the Target brand I believe and they are like almost always sold out at Target. If you've had Pirate's Booty before then you know that it's freaking delicious and this stuff is very very similar. I also have a snack that I got last month in my nature box. These are the roasted sea salt chickpeas that I've had before and I actually stole them from somebody else's nature box but I ended up getting my own so I could just have them at home. But these are really good. They're just chickpeas that are crunchy and they have a little bit of salt on them and I think they're just a really great snack. Alright, I am super excited about my little cooler bag here slash lunch box because you can actually put this entire bag in the freezer and it keeps everything cold. So it basically has cooler packs built in to the fabric here. So you put this in the freezer overnight and the next day you just put everything inside and it's cold and it keeps everything chill. When I'm bringing snacks outside, I like to put them in something like this just so they stay fresher because it's not fun to have things that are like hot and mushy and blah because it's just yeah, I think that pretty much explains it. I just got this at Target, by the way, and I thought the color was really fun, too. They also had a plain black one, but who needs a plain black one? Give me all the colors. I have carrots and grapes. Vita Coco coconut water, and I really like the peach mango flavor. I have some Sabra hummus, and this is actually one of the little mini sizes that they make. And I like eating the hummus with the carrots, not so much the grapes. And then I have one more thing down in here, which is trying to hide from me. I can feel it string cheese. Alright guys, we are getting down to the bottom here. I have a little sippy cup that I like to take with me and I normally fill this up with water just because I like to stay hydrated and this is just really easy to take with me and I can reuse it. And of course I have a towel. This one is super colorful, nice and big, and I got this from Target. I just fell in love with the colors because it's basically a rainbow, so it just screams me. And then I like bringing a little cover up just in case, you know, I'm doing something and I don't want to be walking around in my bathing suit. So I got this little striped romper from American Apparel. I think it's really cute and you can definitely wear this around over your bathing suit and it just looks like a normal outfit. It doesn't look like a beach cover-up. And if you're spending the entire day at the beach, it can definitely get chilly at night, so I like bringing a hoodie. This one right here is my current fave. It is from Aviator Nation in Venice. It's on Abbott Kinney. That's the store that I got this at. It's a really cool store. It has like a rainbow on the outside, so obviously it attracted me. But this says, pray for surf on the back and it's super, super soft. All of their stuff is really soft and cozy. That is everything that is inside my bag, and before I go, I am going to be giving away this cute little bag filled with some of my essentials that you just saw inside of my bag. So if you would like to win this guy, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel, 
give this video a thumbs up and down below in the comments tell me what your favorite summer book is because I am doing a ton of reading and I want to know what you're reading. And be sure to follow me on Twitter because I do lots of giveaways over on my Twitter account. I will have my Twitter linked down below for you guys. But that is it for today. I hope you guys are having a spectacular day with jazz sparkle hands and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. And now my friends, we have reached the end and you have a decision to make. Would you like to watch my past videos? If so, you can just click the boxes right here and it will take you through a magical vortex on YouTube to that video. And yeah, I am just going to wait here for you to decide. I'm counting on you to make the right decision. So yeah, um, well, I don't really know what to say anymore. So I am just going to trail off into oblivion.